Little Ninja is live, five, six. We're finishing up with our lightsaber and teamwork. Part of the teamwork is that I need you to go on here and say, hello, Sensei, it is Patrick. Hello, Sensei, it's Jimmy. Hello, Sensei, it's Samantha. You get the idea. You got to log in and do it. So our focus this week or this month is teamwork, but we're finishing up our lightsabers. Now, you don't have to have a lightsaber to do this. You can have nothing and use your imagination as you have one. You could also use, say, a, a magazine that I rolled up to represent your lightsaber. So what you need to have is your magazine. Roll it up. Or a thin newspaper or even some paper. Just roll it up. I've got some more bands around it so it holds together. Or I can use my hands when I do the techniques that I was just doing. If you want to see that really cool thing I did. Looks a lot different with a lightsaber, obviously. I'm blocking, coming up, and striking. There's my high block. Coming around and striking. Looks pretty cool with a lightsaber, obviously. But I can do the same thing high, around, and down, just with this. Or, I can do the technique high, around, and down. So everything that we do in karate, you can relate to some of the cool stuff in Star Wars, like lightsabers, and um, samurai warriors, and all that cool stuff. So don't forget we have this going on. So part of the teamwork is to log on there and say, hey, it's Riley, hey, it's Sebastian, hey, it's Sophia. You get the idea, guys and girls. Or, hey, it's Silas. Make sure you put your name on there so I can put you into the bucket. We had three winners from last week that kind of did what they were supposed to for homework. It was um, Riley S. Speaking of it, Riley S. Uh, Lauren and Max C. Last name starts with a C. Okay. Those three winners will be getting a delivery as soon as I get my stuff in. And then we'll, for this new challenge for homework, it's just to log on there and say, I'm there, Sensei. That way I know you're participating and working together with me to do this. Okay, very good. Let's get you started. So hopefully you have a piece of paper or a magazine to work with our lightsaber stuff cool today for teamwork. Ready, twin jumping jacks, go. Each, ni, sun, shi, go, rook, sish, ash, ku, ju, each, ni, sun, si, go, rook, sish, ash, ku, ni, ju, nice. We're gonna do knee strikes, watch this knee. Straight forward and back. This might be new for some of you ninjas. For the ninjas, you can do this. Come on, ninjas. My leg goes back, boom, and I switch legs. Ooh, this is new. If you've never done this, this is definitely new for you. Okay, just little switch motions. Okay, very good. Switching them back and forth. Nice, mixing it up. Good. All right, next one, horse stance. Two punches, each knee, side, she, squat. Go, broke, sish, hash, ku, ju, ju each, ju ni, ju san, ju si, ju go, ju ruku, sishi, ju hashi, ju ku, ni ju. Nice job, ninjas. Running in place. Run up two steps, run back. Run up, run back. Up two, back two. You got it, ninjas. Come on. Up two, back two. You got this. Working on teamwork, which is purple. And part of teamwork is to get on there, ask my team member, and say, hey, I'm here, Sensei. Or whenever you get a chance to watch this, make sure you log in, and I'll check it later. And I'll acknowledge my Sensei. I got it. Good job. All right, roll your arms out. Nice, easy warm-up today. Out of the way. Hand over your head, side stretch. And other side. Good, hands on your belt, roll up your neck. Other way. Good job, ninjas. Have a seat. Have a seat. Stretch down, touch the toes. Far as you can go. Ten count. Each knee. Sun. She, go, see, she, ash, ku, ju, good job, switch, work it down, ten, each, ni, san, she, go, rook, see, she, ash, ku, ju, nice, butterfly, put your feet in, push them down, good, as far as you can go, if you can get them further than me, that's awesome, ready, ten count, each, ni, 
sun, she, go, rook, sish, hush, ku, chu, nice. Legs out straight, and just legs out straight, nice. Far as you can go. If you only go this far, that's okay. You go here, that's better. You get all the way down, that's awesome. Ten count, go. Each, knee, sun, she, go, rook, si, ku, chu, excellent. Shake your legs out. Stand up. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate the techniques that you'll be doing when I do the lightsaber stuff, because this is all about Star Wars week. If you knew Monday was May the 4th be with you, so I'm finishing it out with the Star Wars stuff, but we're gonna relate it how all the techniques that we do, how to transfer that over into a saber or into a samurai sword. Using what? Nothing, if you don't have anything, your imagination holding something, or uh, you could do a magazine or a saber, lightsaber or a samurai sword. Just make sure whatever you have, you're not gonna hit the TV or the lamps. So important. Let's start with some basic kicks. Start with front snap kick. McGarry Kiyash. Ready? Us. 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 And switch. Ready? Us. And us. 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 Good. Side kick. Ready? Yoko Gary Kiyash. Us. Us. Us, us, and switch. Each time I kick, I either key eye or I breathe out. Hands are up, ready, us, 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 all right, nice job. Let's go to horse stance, palm heel strike, ready, strike, 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 strike. Let's make it a punch, ready? Punch, 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 two punches, go, go, okay, so let's break down, we just did punches, palm heels, right, and kicks, so if we do a punch, walking forward and do a punch in karate, or walking back, okay, that motion, how do we incorporate that motion with our saber, use this little one to represent probably what you have, so if I'm punching, I would have two hands on that. So now I'm coming out, thrusting. See that motion? Coming out, thrusting. So it would be a punch. It just has the saber in my hand. See that motion? Okay, so here, going forward. Forward. Okay, now, keep practicing that. Keep doing that. Just don't hit anything. Obviously, this makes it look a little better what I'm doing here. That's that punch. I'm stepping forward. Punch, see that motion? That's all it is. It's almost the exact same move, except that I have the lightsaber in my hand, or the sword. Nice, okay. So that shows us an attack from a punch. It's just related to a punch. If you eventually stick around long enough, you'll do long bow, you'll see that exact move in there, but with a long bow. So cool. All right, next one, high block. I'm going over some reviews that we did earlier. So, high block. We're gonna do our hand up, right? Over our head, high blocks. Nice, get the idea? Good, okay, now we're gonna step to the side. High block, good. Step to the side, you can do that hand. Or you can do that hand, it, you can switch it up. You can do high blocks on different sides. But I'm doing what? Stepping to the side to get out of the way. So if I have the saber, okay? So if I was to step and do my high block, there's my other hand. So I'm stepping, same leg, same arm, high block. Put the saber in my hand, which represents the lightsaber or the sword, and I grab with both hands. That's how it is, watch it, it's that simple. That motion so now it's all together okay that's starting with the same hand and same leg to be simple I'm stepping with my right here copying me my right hand goes up with that saber and my left hand with it my saber comes across now I'm gonna go to the left side that do everything both sides so I'm stepping and doing a high block stepping right excuse me stepping left and blocking left good same idea both hands on the saber 
Ready? High block. All right, take that hand out. Look, there's my high block. Take the saber out. There's the high block. Exact same move. Watch that. Same thing. Nice. And again. Keep practicing. Back and forth. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to do it with a lightsaber so it looks a little cooler and makes it more sense to you. While it comes all the way across. Okay, same idea. High blocks, stepping, and doing it. Keep practicing. Even if you don't have one, you don't need one. You can use your hands and do it. Take both your hands like you have the lightsaber. Come up. If you don't even have a piece of paper or a magazine, that's okay. You can do this without. Look, it's just a high block, but add the other hand. Okay? It's a high block, but add the other hand. Keep going. That's it. A couple more. You're getting better. I can see it. I can feel it. You're doing better. All right? Keep that going. No matter if you have a magazine that works just as good. Just as good. Okay? That's the saber. Nice step. Nice, nice. So another move that we do is a downward chop. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of the saber for one second here. The fake little paper saber. I'm gonna practice, get a little closer for you. I'm gonna practice this downward chop, see that? Downward chop, going slow to stay with me. Practice that chop. You got it, practice that chop. Bring it down, hey sushutouchi, right? Practice that chop. Nice and slow, little ninjas. Nice and slow, stay with me. Sit nice and slow. Up and down. Copy those motions. You got it, little ninjas. Keep it going. That's it. You got it, ninjas. Up and down. Good. So that same motion of coming down. Imagine both your hands together. Okay. Coming up. There's that motion. Okay. So if I don't have a saber or a sword, you can utilize, utilize a little magazine. Roll it up. Put it in both hands. Step forward. That motion, give you a side angle, watch. Comes up, little and then down. Okay, that little motion. Okay, let's do it again. Step forward, little step, and down. Notice it's not going lower than my belt. I'm not going way down here like this. I'm doing it up here. Okay, same idea. Nice. Let's do it again. Up, level, strike forward. Good, keep practicing it. Practice, keep going. Keep going, then just don't stop. So if I had the lightsaber, get the idea. Star Wars. All right. Or Samurai Sword. Which would be called what? What do you guys think? What would they call a Samurai Sword? Watashi? No. Tanto? No. Katana. There you go. Katana. Those are other swords, right? Katana, very good. Okay, so I'll give you a side angle. Watch it comes up level, a little step, and then forward. See how it doesn't go past my belt? I don't go way down here. I stop right here. Okay, so there's that motion again. I back up a little bit. Down and back. Down. Nice. Stepping back to get ready. Up level. Step forward. Good. What was the strike we just learned before that? One, pull back, two, okay? So side angle, one, pull back, strike forward, two, okay? So you got, that's it, keep it going, keep practicing. All right, before that, well, I mean, after our first block was our high block. So remember this high block that we do here, Here's your saber, high block. Step forward, first strike. Second strike, nice, okay? So let's do it again, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Okay, now remember, if you don't have one of these, you can use what? Newspaper, your imagination, you don't have to have one, okay? It's so important, up, good. Rotate, forward, stomach, down. Nice, good, 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 okay? Do it again. We start back here. Ready? Step to the side. High block. That's that high block. It's over here. Your body is out of the way. Step. Boom. In and forward. I'm not taking giant steps. Just little steps. Little steps. Okay? Little steps. 
I'm gonna go to the other side now. I gotta do everything both sides. High block, if I remove that saber, look at my hand, it's in that high block position, see that? All that is an assist. Rotate over, down, back, thrust. Good, okay, let's do it again. Ready, step, high block, good. Down, pull back, thrust forward, nice. Good, all right, keep it going, keep it going, keep practicing. Now remember, if you don't have one, it's okay. Just grab your newspaper or your magazine or just your imagination. You can do it with this, okay? You just go one, two, three. Very good. Ready? Go one, two, three. Nice. Okay, and then of course, if you don't have anything at all, which is okay, you can do it without it. So what do we have? High block. Thrust down, stomach, right, very good. Let's try the other side. There's nothing but just our imagination, okay? That's a high block, right? So there's our hands together. Come down forward, which represents the downward knife hand strike. That represents the punch going forward or the thrust, okay? So let's do it again, ready? So high block, without it, good. Step forward, down. And forward, nice, nice. So not big, big steps, just little slide motions. Little motions on these, little slides. Little slide, okay? That's that forward and back motion, just little slides, okay? Alrighty, so far pretty good. So we did our high block, and we did the downward knife hand strike with a sword, and then we also did like a punch with a sword, but thrusting out the sword instead of a punch, it would be the sword or the lightsaber. Next one we're gonna do is a down block. So I'm gonna do down block slowly, Dad. All right, not worried about the hips, just the hands. That's that motion. Let's do it nice and slow, ninjas, right? Nice and slow. Up, down. Up, cross my side, like that. And down. Up, down. Up, down. Nice. Up, down. Up, both hands, down. That would be your saber. Up, or your samurai sword. Okay, so up. So if I had it with my lightsaber <laughs> for Star Wars people, I'd come up, down, up, down. Okay, up, down. Good. Go a little slower so you can see it better. Okay, now if I don't have one of these and I have just a newspaper, let's do it with a newspaper. Now remember, if you have it, just keep going, just don't hit anything. So here we go. Okay, up. Down, up, down, that motion, okay? 45 degree cut, just like our down blocks, okay? A lot of times we'll start here and then we'll switch it. That's the difference. You have a sword up here, this is called a deception move. I'm gonna act like I'm gonna go straight forward like this, but as I go forward, I turn my wrist and down, like a down block, okay? So same thing here, up the side, there's that. I change my wrist, and down. So up, down, up, down, okay? Up, down, okay, not like this. That's baseball, okay, no baseball, okay? So up, down, right, up, down. That's the motion, you want to just get used to that angle. And then after you get used to that angle, going down, you come straight up and then you turn it. So it looks like I want to do what move? The first one. That first strike, right? That downward strike. Except that as I'm doing it, I turn and boom. Now also your wrist is what makes this work. See how my hand is pushing? One is pushing and the other one's pulling just a little. So when I come down, I have that motion. Okay? Now, is it good to be way down here? No, 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 you want it up above your belt. So don't go way down here. You want to, when I'm doing my downward, I stop there. Now this is different, but look, I'm still stopping there. I'm not really going way down like this and reaching. Remember, you got a big katana, at least 40 some inches long. So up, up, good, 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 good. Excellent, excellent, excellent ninjas. Come up. Up, 
All right, ninjas. What color are we working on again this month? Purple, teamwork. So let's think about that, teamwork. Part of the teamwork is you have to be willing to come and practice this stuff. You have to practice your techniques so you don't forget what you're learning. That way when you come back, you're ready to go and get promoted and keep all those things moving. You have to practice. So very important. Every day you get five to ten minutes of practice if you can. Just five or ten minutes, that's all. That's not a lot of time. You have the whole day to do whatever you want. So take five or ten minutes of practice. You can go back and watch these videos. That's not a big deal. You can go back and watch these. Watch, have fun. Watch them again and again. Remember, you can go to our YouTube channel. But what I need you to do is post on there. Even if you watch this later this week, right on there, Sensei, I was here to watch it. That way I know you're on there so you get a chance to win some prizes. Last week's winners, matter of fact, he's a little ninja, one of the winners, Riley S. That was in a little ninjas. The other two winners was Max C and Laura J. Okay? All right? I don't want to use their whole last name. I just like using the letters. That way I'm not putting the little kids' names out there. Okay? Very important. So first, right? That was nice. Good. So if you have a lightsaber, you can. If not, you can use a newspaper, a magazine, or your imagination. So let's go back what this very first block was. One more time for review. High block. Step to the side. High block. Now imagine having a lightsaber or the newspaper or the magazine. That's that motion. Next motion, I come forward to a downward knife hand strike. But with a sword, I come across. Both hands together. And if I go to step forward and punch, boom. Now I'm shoving the sword forward. Okay. Now I can step back, come up, and downward strike. All kinds of neat little combos you can do from here. I'll grab the lightsaber to keep it a little more interesting for you. So I got what? One, right? You can do that. Step forward. Three. Four. Okay? Now that's just a simple combo of four moves. You can even make it more interesting. You can split the moves. You can go high block, down strike, step forward. And then strike, okay? And then you can step, block again. Other side, right? Step forward, strike, okay? So you can mix it up, have some fun with this. Just make sure if you are using something with any length, you don't have the TV, the lamps, anything in the way that you can break. Make sure there's nothing you can break. Don't use anything hard, these are soft. These are those glow sabers, they're pretty soft, okay? You don't wanna have a big piece of wood like a uh, a mop handle or a broom, anything that's going to break something, okay? And this is not really that long. This is probably about 25 inches, 28 inches long. But again, if you don't have one of these, what can you use? A magazine or a newspaper. A magazine or a newspaper. That's simple. There's our move again. Ready? High block. Down strike. Up. Downward. Forward. Rust. Nice, let's do it again, ready? So one, two, three, four. All right, ninjas, pretty simple to do. Don't forget you can take all those blocks that we just did in strikes and apply those with what? Lightsabers or, or samurai swords, all kinds of cool stuff. So don't forget you have all those techniques you can utilize and have fun with it. So don't miss out on that, keep doing that. All right. Also, ninjas, once you, if you voted already earlier this week, you can vote again. You get to vote twice. So you get double the chances. Now, if you only vote once, well, you only got one chance. But you can vote twice by saying, hey, Sensei, um, Sebastian's here. Hey, Sensei, you know, Olivia's here, whoever it is. Make sure you get on there and, and uh, hit it up. And later on, I'll say, hey, I got it. And I'll put you into the contest. And then next week, we'll draw for the new prizes. All right. So one more time, then we'll be done today. Okay, step, high block, one more time with the paper, down strike, come over, chop, thrust. Now I'm going to do it with the saber real quick just to make sure. And again, I'm doing it with the saber. You keep practicing with either your hands or with your newspaper, okay? So I step, high block with it, straight down, come forward, and then strike. Give you a side angle, okay? Let me back up more so you can see it better. We should get it all in there. I think you got it all in there. All right, let's have fun. Good to see you, ninjas. I will see you next Monday. Don't forget to vote. Even if you watch this later on, make sure you vote.
by the way, you voting to get your homework done is this time just to put a post on there and say, Sensei, I was here watching it. Very good. Cheat. Great. Jamata. Jamata.